Hello, I'm Taya Gurken, one of the contributing editors to Acoustic Guitar, and I'm here with a very cool new Guild guitar from their Orpheum series. Uh, in particular, this guitar is called the Slope Shoulder 12 fret mahogany dreadnought. What's cool about the Orpheum series is that the Guild designers basically took a step back and asked themselves, what if Guild, instead of having been founded in the 50s, had been founded in the 30s, which would have put the company right there in the golden era of acoustic guitar design. And so they took some Guild elements, uh, but fused them with design ideas from the 30s, uh, which would probably be Gibson and Martin for the most part. But I also see a little bit of sort of Larson Brothers influence in this guitar. So let's have a closer look. The Slope Shoulder 12 fret mahogany dreadnought is a 12 fret guitar, you can see that. The neck joins at the 12th fret right here. And it's a slope shoulder dreadnought body, so it's a large, large body. Uh, what's interesting about this, when you compare it with a Martin style 12 fret dreadnought, is that it's really quite deep. Uh, it's about the same depth over here, but it hardly tapers toward the, uh, the, the, the upper bout. So it's a very deep, large body. Uh, you'll notice when you're holding it, your arm kind of has to reach around quite a bit. And um, it also makes the neck feel a little bit stout. It's uh, very comfortable on the left hand because you hardly have to reach out so far with it on the, on the 12th fret. Um, the guitar is built with a Adirondack spruce top and mahogany back and sides. All the woods are solid, of course, and it uses hide glue construction throughout. It's a three-piece neck. Uh, it's two pieces of mahogany with a walnut strip in the center. Uh, Goto open uh, gear tuners and very cool little tuner buttons. They have the original uh, Guild Shield logo uh, sort of embossed in on each side of, of the button. So that it's a custom tuner button uh, set up on here. And um, really, when, when I look at this guitar, it really reminds me of a Gibson Royce Mac. That's sort of the closest thing I can think of. But the neck shape, for example, really feels like that of a traditional Guild Dreadnought. So it's really a hybrid of lots of different design ideas that creates a very cool 12 fret dreadnought guitar. Um, you'll also notice the purfling. Uh, it's sort of an orange and red and black and blue design, sort of like a rope rope binding kind of a thing in the, in the purfling with a matching rosette. And you'll also see the back strip is uh, matching to that. The Guild Orpheum Slope Shoulder 12 fret mahogany dreadnought has a list price of $4,799 and a street price of about $3,800. And it includes a custom hard shell case. You heard me play the guitar, uh, kind of playing it softly with a pick in the intro to this video. Um, let me also show you how it sounds strummed with a little bit more force on, with a flat pick. This particular review guitar came up with very low action, which makes it very easy to play. But I do have to be careful to not hit it too hard uh, when I'm playing it with a flat. But let me show you how it sounds strummed anyway. So you can tell the guitar has a very rich sound. Uh, it's, you probably can't really judge the volume in the video, but it's quite loud played like this. And I would think that if the action was a little bit higher on the guitar, it would really bloom and develop a lot more volume with this Adirondack top. But it's very impressive as it is. Now I've always found that 12 fret dreadnoughts can make great fingerstyle guitars. And I was very pleased with the way that the Orpheum Slope Shoulder 12 fret sounded uh, played that way. So. I'm now in dadgad tuning and I'll demonstrate what the guitar sounds like played finger style. <laughs> Over here it's got a lovely response, um, very loud to a soft touch, good volume, and really quite balanced, more so than I would have thought with such a big body. The uh, short 24 and 3 quarter inch scale also makes it quite easy to reach, and uh, the nut at 1.8 inches is actually quite finger style friendly, as is the 2 and 5 16 inch uh, string spacing at the saddle. So it's a very interesting, unique guitar. Uh, quite versatile, you could use it for fingerstyle, you could use it for strumming, mm -hmm. and it's really a guitar like nothing else. So if you're, if 12 fret dreadnoughts are your thing, this is definitely worth checking out. 
You can read the full review in uh, the print or digital editions of Acoustic Guitar or online at AcousticGuitar.com. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Taya Gurkin.